Are you serious? Are you serious? Everybody better get some strong coffee, but we're talking radioactive, radioactive. That's right. A nuclear coffin is being exposed and is leaking radioactive material, toxic, very toxic sludge into the sea. According to reports, the United States nuclear coffin on, on an island in the Pacific Ocean is leaking or could be leaking radioactive sludge into the sea. Radioactive waste from the Cold War. Nuclear weapons tests could be leaking into the Pacific Ocean, according to reports by the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Matter of fact, a concrete dome that was built on Runet Island in the late 1970s to contain the waste from the massive atomic bomb tests that were being conducted there after World War II could be leaking toxic sludge into the sea. The Pacific was victimized in the past, as we all know, uh, according to the uh, reports by the Associated Press referring to nuclear explosions carried out by the United States and France after the Cold War, or during the Cold War, I should say, after World War II in that region. The island nation, um, 67 American nuclear weapons tests were conducted, which included the 1954 Bravo hydrogen bomb, the most powerful ever detonated by the United States, about a thousand miles bigger, excuse me, a thousand times bigger than the atomic bomb that we dropped on Hiroshima in Japan. In the Marshall Islands, many residents were forced to leave their land and thousands of others were exposed to radioactive fallout. I've just been with the president of the Marshall Islands, who is a very worried because he said there's a risk of leaking radioactive material that are contained in this coffin uh, in the area. And uh, so the United Nations uh, Secretary General Guterres is touring the South Pacific to raise awareness about climate change. And this would certainly be climate uh, uh, destructive material. Certainly this is very destructive to the environment, okay? Uh, radioactive soil and ash from the blast were put into craters and capped with an 18-inch thick concrete dome that is seen as a temporary fix at that time. Nothing else has ever been done. This has been 50 years. You know that the radioactive material is burning through the ground and it is going to be leaking into the ocean. You know it is. You know it is. And so, you know, these cracks have developed in this concrete dome. There are fears that it could break apart in the event of a tropical cyclone. A lot of needs to be done in that area in relation to the explosions that took place in the French Polynesia and the Marshall Islands area, according to the United Nations chief. So this is a relation to the health consequences, the impact on communities and other aspects. Of course, there are questions of compensation and mechanisms to allow these impacts to be minimized. So we're going to find out what will be. Now, when you talk about climate change, you have to realize you're not really talking about climate change. Um, it, what I would say, the, the climate that's being affected by Planet X or Nibiru or the five waves of energy that really is what we're dealing with when the, when the Bible talks about the heavens are shaking, okay? But this certainly will affect the climate. This is certainly a destructive, dangerous, toxic, radioactive material that certainly is affecting the health of the people and the plant life the animals in the area, and, and the fish of the sea, the marine life. There's no question. So it's, it is a grave concern. It's a very serious situation. And so we're going to keep an eye on it. Uh, U.S. nuclear coffin over at the Marshall Islands now becoming a major concern of radioactive material and uh, the threat to humanity in that part of the world. And, of course, we have to look at it as a long term. We have to look at radioactive material all over the world. And the more nations that get involved in nuclear arms, the more, especially rogue nations. I mean, do you want the Iranians actually to have nuclear bombs 
Forget about the fact that they could actually try to use it on their enemies like Saudi Arabia or, the, or Israel. But what about the fact the sloppy protection of the, the material, the maintaining of it, keeping it from becoming a hazardous radioactive um, uh, concern for the entire Middle East? We've already got nations that's got nuclear capability that I'm, I really don't like. Pakistan, I don't want them to have these nukes. There's no way. India, they don't need nukes. I mean, there's several nations. They're not capable of even keeping up with their own infrastructures of their country, let alone managing nuclear waste. The United States has done a horrible job, not going forward, but in the early, in the early days after World War II, okay, the Cold War era. That's where we did a lot of testing, and we really do need to go back and revisit some of these areas uh, to protect humanity. So this is what's going on. Certainly, this is a concern. We're going to raise that level, but we're living in the last days. And I don't see things getting better on a radioactive nuclear level. I actually see things getting worse. And the Bible even speaks about a day when men will be standing on their feet and their eyes will just literally melt out of their sockets and their tongues out of their mouth because they get hit with that high radioactivity that comes from, obviously, massive fallouts from some type of nuclear thermal war. Are you saved? The great woes, the great sorrows, the wormwood that's coming to the world, the poisonous Chernobyl events. Three Mile Island will seem like nothing compared to the events coming upon the planet. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.